My name is Rhapsody, and welcome back to Slay the Spire. Which of the characters am I playing? Uh, okay, so has a loss, has a loss, has no losses. Okay, so that means that I'm playing the Ironclad, right? That makes sense. All right, another try. Let's go. Random relic. Sure. Ooh, shop card removal only costs 50 gold. All right, let's try and get our infinite again. <laughs> I feel like the game is that character in uh, SpongeBob who's like, how many times do we have to teach you this lesson, old man? <laughs> Just constantly beating me up. But I will get this goddamn infinite together if it's the last thing I do. And failing that, I guess I could just run a thin deck. New. Mm. Well. That's certainly an option. Impatience didn't exist back when I did my original infinite, so... I haven't considered using impatience. Well, I have considered using impatience for infinites, and I have used it for semi-infinites before, but I haven't used it for like a five-card infinite. So what would I take? Because it's still dual wheel dropkick. Flash of Steel. Like if I had impatience, Flash of Steel, I can just infinite off of those two. Take a copy of it. Don't want to add another card to my deck that I have to remove. I'll take the money. It's going to make it easier for me. It's going to make it easier for me in the future to <clears throat> remove more cards from my deck. Nope. Alright, so this is the only elite that I have to take out entire floor and then we get two more rests as well as one more shop i mean as long as we get provided i can't believe bash is the bottom card on our deck here, by the way uh as long as we get provided just something just one piece of the puzzle here on the first floor we can really start focusing and honing in on it on one piece of the puddle i mean i can upgrade that impatience i'm gonna go with the bash though because that is both good for the infinite but also ooh, got my deck lovely that's both good for the infinite but it's also really really good for oh, puddle flame. yes put the bash in the opening hand gets the infinite down um there's the dual wield do i need dual wield in this deck right now actually yes i do because we have the bash Ooh, because we have the bash, the deck is actually going to be really heavy. So that impatience is not actually going to be active. Oh, God. All right, so we've got the dual wheel. Literally, I just need drop kick now. And then to cut a bunch of cards from my deck. Give me drop kick. For some reason, I wasn't thinking about the fact that I have bash in the deck and that bash is the most likely vulnerability enabler that i'll be using in this infinite just because it's already in the deck so to use let's drop kick to use something else is really 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 rough all right okay let's just just focus we've got this Really? Just needed to draw another attack there. Wild. Alright. No, don't want any of those. More bank? Whenever you climb a floor? Yeah, that's going to give us more money for removing things. Uh, here, I'm actually going to upgrade the drop kick. Am I? Yeah, I am. Can give us the extra damage to try and get through the slime boss as early as I really want to. If I can get dual wheel drop kick in the same hand here... I can, but I have to do it like that. Uh 
Ajá. I mean, yeah, that could have been a that could have been a worse split. <clears throat> been a lot worse, in fact. So we've got a lot of drop kicks in the deck now. We've got the dual wield. I don't want to split that acid slime unless I'm killing it here. And since I've got the double drop kicks in the next hand, we've got a really good chance to do that. One down. My only vulnerability enabler has already gone past. So that's going to be a problem for us. I'm going to burn the two slimes out of the deck, make my cycle a little bit faster here. As soon as I draw my bash, I win now. I'll hold off on the explosive potion, see if I can get away without it. We definitely want an energy potion. Or double card removal. Ooh, double card removal would also be ridiculously good for us here. Double card removal! Oh my god! Alright, empty cage. We just removed two strikes, yeah? Okay. We only need to cut five more cards from the deck. So we want to hit as many shops with as few fights as possible. The dream is real. Come on, draw the bash. Bash. Drop kick. I'd love to deal with that drop kick. One extra energy would allow me to do that, but alas, alack. Okay. I'm going for the full defense that turn, hoping the enemy is debuffing this turn. Beautiful, they are. Getting bashed at the wrong time here, and the fact that it's super expensive is really rough. We have taken so much damage in this fight. Like, a ridiculous amount of damage. I, I actually have to use the explosive potion here for the kill. I'm not taking that. Nope. can also foresee this fight taking a lot of our HP. We need dual wield and drop kick in the same hand if we actually want to go off. There we go. Okay, bash is up next as well. Beautiful. As well as just before the new shuffle with the drop kicks in. Don't manage to find a drop kick, but that's okay. God, we are taking a ridiculous amount of damage setting this up right now. We need more card removal. Card removal in the next space. Obviously pretty jazzed about that. Regen potion. Sure, that's also some kind of on QHP. The finesse actually doesn't mess with the infinite. Just draws you another card. Gets us a little bit of block as well. If we take the Juzu Bracelet, normally the encounters are no longer in question mark rooms, which means that we're more likely to pick up card removal options in question mark rooms. Okay. I think it's Finesse. Sure. I... <laughs> Come on, drop kick. Yes. 
the confusion here could completely screw us. We should have used the regen potion there on turn one rather than waiting. Get a bunch of zero cost drop kicks here. Yep. It is important to use the bash here, actually. Keep the vulnerability going for next turn. So I take 10 damage in this combat so far, but I've healed nine. And then the drop kicks kill. Double tap actually doesn't fit this deck. Use the block potion there. I know that my next hand has the dual wield and the drop kick in it. Keep the enemy vulnerable. Oh my god. Deal with that drop kick. It's an 11. That's not going to be enough. I really don't want to take the damage here either, though. So, with our weakness, this goes 10, 12. Weakness takes us down to 8. All right. 9 takes us down to 9 and then with vulnerability that becomes 13 damage the enemy has 14 HP so I actually don't even kill if I use the strength potion so I just have to double defend this turn kind of just lump it we'll de definitely be resting in the next space no no ifs ands about that one there's very few cards in this deck that I even want to smith at this point I'm going to use the Strength Potion because I actually believe this fight could kill us. We got the Dual Wield in the wrong hands. That's basically all it takes to kill us. <laughs> you suck, game. The only card I didn't want it to draw. Well, this is a full defend turn. Yep, no, I didn't play my bash that turn, but I think if it did, I was dead. Well, now we've got all the drop kicks in deck. All we need to do is survive until we can use them, which I honestly don't think is likely at this point. Yeah, we're dead. Ridiculous. All right. What would have helped? More card removal opportunities on the first floor. Definitely would have helped. Not taking impatience. Uh, I forgot I, I forgot to consider that Bash was going to be super expensive. So even though I got two card removals at the end of the first floor, I would have been better off to get an Energy Relic uh, just because of the expensive nature of Bash. So I would have been able to play Bash, Dual Wield, and Dropkick in the same turn. That's That's all sorted by itself as soon as I have that. That's really rough. That's okay, though. It happens. The Minimalist deck is one of the hardest achievements to get. I would actually argue the hardest achievement is winning the game with only one Relic. By the way, if we were on Ascension 1, I'm pretty certain we would have won. Elites spawn more often. Normal enemies, uh, normal enemies are deadlier. Elites are deadlier. Bosses are deadlier. Healers after boss battle start each run damage. Normal enemies are tougher. Elites are tougher. Without those, I'm pretty certain we would have won with that deck already. So I really probably should be considering dropping to Ascension 1 when I want to do those. But it's difficult because then I have to decide, oh, this is an episode where I'm going for... Achievements. This is an episode where I'm not doing that. It's just weird. Guess that's a poor reason, though. Just being weird. Uh, let's do like a super hardcore limit break deck. No defense.
that's on turn one. Well, not much. At least got a good follow-up. The bash and strike on the same turn. Oh. Oh, well. We take nothing here, probably. Maybe even Perfected Strike. I'll take Perfected Strike. Just gives us a little bit of an early power boost. Okay, so Bash next hand. Nope, never mind. Bash and Perfected Strike, bottom of the deck. Lame. Incredibly lame. Couldn't have killed there. Would have been one damage off, by the way. <clears throat> Get him. Sword Boomerang makes sense for this deck as soon as I have some strength in it, but I don't. I shouldn't act like I do. Or rather, I shouldn't make decisions predicated upon already having the strength that I don't have. I took... I understand that that entirely goes against the fact that I just took the limit break. Yes. But shh. <laughs> Alright, maybe it's actually just a perfect strike build. I'll tell you what, it definitely looks like one right now. Great. Just a little bit more. I mean, I can just murder the frontliner here, but I should just double defend. There's no reason not to, though. We don't weaken next turn, so we can just kill the frontliner with a single strike as well. Then limp break out of the deck. <clears throat> Got him. Hard no to all of those. We'll upgrade the Perfected Strike first. Damn it. If this was the Sentinels, that would have been the right upgrade. Hopefully I get the Perfected Strike in the next turn, though. Nice. That's a murder. Red Skull, while your HP is at a below 50%, you have three additional strength as well as a strength potion. Take a Battle Trance in this deck. The only draw we'll really put in this deck is a Pommel Strike, so... Battle Trance isn't going to be card negative at any point for us, really. Vajra, start each combat with one strength. That now gives us something to scale the limit break off of. Beautiful. Sure, it's quite small initially, but... From little things, big things grow. Heavy Blade and Whirlwind each make sense for this deck. I'll take the Whirlwind just because we have no AoE yet. And go for another Elite. Hold off for a second here. Was very much hoping I would have gotten the limp break in that hand. <clears throat> Great. Seven strength for this fight should help me end it really quickly. Almost. And there we go. Bag of Marbles at the start of each combat apply one vulnerable to all enemies. Really, really powerful for us there. The boot, whenever you deal four or less unblocked attack damage, increase it to five. We'll take the Sapphire Key, because that's very unlikely to be relevant for us, considering the builds we're going for. I consider it like this. The enemy is just helping me get below half HP. Oh, the perfect strike, beautiful. Uh, so that I can trigger all of my effects. Thank you, enemy. You are being extraordinarily generous. I don't deserve this. Seriously. You don't have to. War paint. Upon pick up, upgrade two random skills. That's just both defense. No! Limit break! Oh, God. I forgot about that. All right. 
we have to upgrade the whirlwinds not only because this fight can become aoe but because next floor is almost all aoe okay if i attack one more time there i split the enemy i don't want to do that 24 14 so we get a total of 38 or bash and then seven becomes 10 so 12 32 wow it's way better to do this <clears throat> come on yeah exactly what i was looking for didn't even have the time to ask for it before i got it we may end up perfecting this boss fight off the back of that Yeah, it definitely looks like we will. Nice. Fiendfire, Bludgeon, Impervious. Actually, none of those make sense for this deck right now. Fiendfire will burn out a bunch of my strikes. Perfected strikes are a considerable part of my build. Bludgeon is way too expensive for me to play and is insignificantly affected by strength. And Impervious is just a weight in my deck at the moment. Uh, I, I hate Mark of Pain. Negating two draws from your first shuffle is ridiculous, especially when you're running relatively thin. If I had more cards, like if I had 20 cards in my deck right now, I'd consider it a little more. Still probably wouldn't go for it, though. But I'd definitely give the consideration the time of day there. Alright, I have a path with absolutely no rests. That could be a little bit bad. Oh, just whirlwind to put everyone on the floor. Turn one. Mwah. What beauty, what grace. Pommel strike pre-upgraded. Hell yes. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Oh, you know I'm going to fight the Gremlin knob here. Are you kidding me? My deck is mostly attacks. I could not be better prepared for this upcoming fight. Victory. Just clicking it so damn quick. One down. Now the bash is already gone by, unfortunately. Limit break is not worth playing here. So we'll take 16 and then kill the enemy. No, I'll use the... Actually, do I use the swift potion? Yeah, I do. That's fine. Grab the knob down and I get... Yeah, yes! I was waiting for this relic. You can now gain strength at rest sites up to three times maximum. As well as the question card, future card reward screens have one additional card to choose from. So now I actually need to adjust my path. I need to hit three rests here on this floor so that I can just get three strength. One of 20 cards. I mean, there'll be a strike in here somewhere. There's a pommel strike and a twin strike. We take the twin strike, hits twice, gets two effects of the upgraded card. Beautiful. Uh, gets two effects from strength. Alright. Next hand, draw the perfected strike and kill. Beautiful. Pre upgraded wild strike. It's a lot of damage. It's hard to turn down. So here I just rest, get another gear gear trigger. We're gonna have four strength going into each combat. Which is obviously pretty good. But it becomes ridiculous when you remember that we have limit break to double the effect. Tiny chest. Upon pick up, gain 30 gold. You're 10% more likely to find treasure in question mark rooms. I'm not even bothering to take that inflame. It's way too slow for this deck. This deck already goes off by itself. That inflame. <laughs> uh. 
That in flame is frankly an insult. Right, you down on the ground. And murder. Take another twin strike happily. Dreamcatcher, when any of you rest, you may add a card to your deck. I'm afraid we're not going to be resting basically ever. I like that when decks I really like die, I typically get a deck that I like slightly more <laughs> immediately thereafter. Like, yes, I do love infinites and I haven't done one in a very long time, but there's something incredibly appealing about a opening limit break from Meow and then hitting both of the strength relics thereafter. Blood, uh, Sword Boomerang is a great way to deliver damage with a strength deck. But I don't want to chunk the deck up too much because I do have that limit break in here. So basically, the only cards I really want to add to the deck at the moment are strikes. I was just looking for the whirlwind there, seeing if I could get the insta-kill. God, pre-upgraded perfected strike, of course. Final lift. Oh, God. Negate the next two curses you obtain, definitely. Start a boss combat heal for 25 HP. I don't think we're ever going to need that. Dolly's Mirror. Obtain an additional copy of a card in your deck. Limit break. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna start removing the defense. Get another pommel strike there as well. Oh, this is gonna be wild. All right, almost a third of the boss's HP there on the first turn. <clears throat> Casually. Oh, you took my limit break. Give it back. All right, 16 in our first shuffle through. The pommel strike for the draw is trying to get that limit break back, I think. Oh, well. Hey, there's the limit break. Lovely. Double tap is pretty pretty good for it. Can anyone spot why I did that? Reaper is obviously pretty good for this deck. Just completely full heals us. And that's exactly the relic that we would want. Uh, you can no longer rest at rest sites. Sure. Why would I? I just ultra heal off of every Reaper I play. Oh, yes. Two down. First turn. All right. Take my region. Oh, another pre-upgraded perfected strike. This was meant to be a perfected strike build. This is probably going to be my first perfected strike against the heart. I think. I think that's true. I think this is my first perfected strike build going up against the heart. Nice. Just defend before I attack here. Defend before I attack. That'll do it. I mean, if they're just going to keep offering me perfected strikes, I'm going to keep taking them. Ah. Ah. Energy is now conserved between turns. It's actually kind of good, right? 
I don't want to take Prismatic Shard just because it's going to remove a lot of the ability for me to pick up strikes because there's a higher incidence of strikes in the Ironclad. Is my boss at the end of this floor? I think we do take the ice cream. It's just I can't think of a turn where I'm not going to spend all of my energy. No, we'll take self forming clay. Whenever you lose HP, gain three block next turn. That's going to be really good against the heart in particular. Bye to you and hello to another pump strike. Yeah, just two strikes for the kill there. Another perfected strike upgraded. I don't I I can't tell you why this is happening. I can only tell you that it is. Take it to some. Yes. No, we're going to have another shop next floor. You know what? I'll take this path. Let her open her. Every time we play three skills in a single turn, gain, uh, deal five damage to all enemies. <laughs> Upgrade the only defense left in the deck. Lovely. Right, so I do still have the Reaper in there. Got to remember to wait on that. Use it at an appropriate time and then full heal. This seems like an appropriate time. Whetstone and Pompic up upgrade two random attacks in your deck. Sure. Ornamental fan, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain four block as well. Excellent for us. If I didn't already have the Reaper go by, I would have taken the limit break there. Taken and played, I mean. Rage, whenever you play an attack this card, gain five block. Sure, we play almost nothing but attacks. I'm fine with this. Omomori will negate the curse being added to my deck. So I actually get to avoid all liability. Smith another card. Upgrade the Pommel Strike. Extra draw is nice. So I'll be waiting likely for my Whirlwind before I actually want to kill the Frontliners here. Kill the backliner before I kill either of the cultists here. Almost certainly. Should I? Definitely no. Did I just misplay that so hard that I'm dead? 42, 7. Save myself by 6, 6. Okay, no, I'm fine. Fine for exactly one turn, though.
Come on, Reaper! <laughs> oh, God. I'm dead. I died at the second hit and then get immediately hit again. God damn it. <laughs> uh. What could have helped? Drawing Reaper later, drawing Rage earlier, uh, drawing Disarm earlier, drawing Whirlwind earlier. Uh, second shuffle getting the limit break. Having another Reaper or another Rage in the deck. Having higher max HP, so not having given up max HP for both the rare card at the start and then for the Golden Idol. Literally with one more HP, we would have killed there. Uh... Drawing another perfected strike rather than everything that wasn't a perfected strike. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six in the deck. And the battle trance managed to draw strike, 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 pommel strike. Sorry, strike, strike, pommel strike, and bash, if I recall correctly. It's pretty poor. Damn it. Oh, <laughs> I'm so mad about that one. For the moment... My name has been Rhapsody. The name of the game has been... <laughs> hopefully you've been enjoying yourselves. There's a playlist in the description down below with all my content on this game. Pass for a new future and hopefully we'll see you next time.